Do I continue with the meme? What's, What's up, up, guys? guys? Joey 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 Joey. Welcome back to Bad Decisions. Oh, abhorrent. Oof. That tastes terrible. That smells terrible. How does it feel watching someone's descent on camera? Uh, I asked you guys for drink suggestions, and you guys gave them to me. I asked Instagram this time. You guys gave me a lot. We're gonna go straight into it because I wanna go to one of the boldest claims on here. It caught my eye as soon as I read it. This is from I am Angela Piper. She said, pint glass of ice, pour in the glass, one ounce of Jägermeister cold brew. Fill with lemonade. I know it sounds sh It does, absolutely. But I promise you it's good. I wouldn't do you like that, Gigi. A bold claim indeed. Now, oh, what's that? You don't know what Jägermeister cold brew is. <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. And for some reason, I already had this in my fridge. I didn't need to purchase that. It was already there. So, <laughs> let's do it. One ounce of Jägermeister cold brew. I can do that. Easy peasy. Now, I've tried this, tried this alone, and it's... Gross. There's no reason why I would ever try it again, except for Angela Piper. So, I got Calypso Original Lemonade. You said tastes better with better quality lemonade. I don't know if Calypso is good lemonade. I sure hope it is. I sure hope it does. Do I need to like shake lemonade? Is that a thing? Fill with lemonade, f it. I feel like that's a lot of lemonade for what I just tried to do there. But we're gonna run it. Our first drink, I feel, really sets the tone for these types of videos. So, there is a lot riding on this, Angela. If this sucks, you're gonna hear it in the comments. They're gonna blame me, but I'm gonna secretly defer to you. So, cheers. Jägermeister Cold Brew and Lemonade. Doesn't have a cool name. Uh, she just said it's good. Bottoms up. One second. Sometimes you gotta know what you're really being convinced by here. I am befuddled. I am a speechless. Taking it back. Wait, let me see if I can f it up. I don't think the ratio made sense there because the lemonade is very overpowering. Hold on, Angela. You're not out of the doghouse quite yet. Oh my God, that's good. What the fuck? Dude, this thing. I was about to take a solo shot of that so I could do the same experiment I did with the lemonade. Not doing that. The last episode I did, I ended up very intoxicated. That was a mistake. Not preferred on this end, believe it or not. AKA, let me go throw up in the bathroom real quick. Here's the range. This range is cool, good times. I was, I was off camera. And that's how, <laughs> that episode sucked, cause I got, yeah, it was bad. But you wanna know what's not bad? That's right. The second channel has officially been blessed, ladies and gentlemen. This video is sponsored by that Fucking mobile game, you know the one. Pay to add those legends. Raid, baby! We're celebrating Raid's fourth anniversary, so get your party hats on and your drugs. So Raid told me to pick four champions that I would invite to the dinner party for their anniversary, and they told me I could categorize them whatever way I wanted to. So I'm gonna choose the four Raid champions that I would uh, hypothetically uh, most wanna be friends with. We're gonna start with Chanaru. She wields two blades. I'm trying to make it three. Next would be Prosecutor. She's great to use in the dungeons area of the game. Just something about her, you know? Like a woman with authority. <laughs> I did it. I would then invite Hellgazer and tell you what the hell I'm gazing at. <laughs> and last would probably be uh, Seducer. No other questions will be answered at this time. Raid finally has live arena PVP with rewards. You can finally show all these other shitters who has the best Gallic. NA, more new champions, Easter themed events, new season of the Forge Pass, just use my link below. Or you can scan the QR code, I'm sure you missed it. If you use my link, you'll get insane bonuses like the free epic champion, Knight. Errant. Look at this fucking dork. You need someone like him on your team. He's got big chaperone energy. You also get a lot of the other shit I usually offer. Energy refills, skill tome, XP booster. The links in the description or QR code. And thank you, Raid, very much for sponsoring the second channel. What legends? Angela, I gotta give it to you. Who would have thought? 
who can who who told you this concoction? Demons? A wizard? That's just good. I don't know if uh, like obviously the lemonade does a lot of heavy carrying, but like the flavors mix well. I don't think I was gonna be blown away this early. Yeah, I'm giving that fucking hell. Shit, I gotta give that like a nine out of 10, Angela. That's a good quality drink. You know what? You made a promise and you kept your promise. Look at you. Okay, all right, what a good fucking start. Nine out of 10 to start, Angela. Let's get on to the next drink. Mm, what the fuck? How the fuck did that make sense? Now I know St. Patrick's Day has already passed. Uh, well after this upload, but I did tell Instagram if they had any St. Patrick's Day themed drinks. So I would be remiss if I didn't hit us with a classic. Brought to us by Lad Caddy, and I'm pretty sure a couple of other people in the comments, but this is the first one I see right now. Irish whiskey. I'm gonna go with the proper 12 because I already bought this for another video and I was not gonna purchase another bottle, even though I don't like it. So for the Irish car bomb, we are gonna need three quarter pint of whiskey, or Guinness. So after doing some math, oh. <laughs> we're gonna need about uh, that much right there. About right there. About, wait, hold on. Now it sounds like a lot. <laughs> I did this right, right? How the fuck am I supposed to slam this? Okay, so if my math is correct, which it isn't always, this is the correct amount of Guinness. About fucking full Guinness bottle with a little extra on top. And now I'm supposed to put Irish whiskey slowly on top, half ounce. So we're gonna wrap some of this fucking proper 12 here. Half ounce of Irish whiskey, slowly pour it on top. I'm spelling my name in this. This is art, people. And then in a shot glass, pour yourself Irish cream. Damn, I guess I'll use this, the Chi Chi shot glass that I have with the Chi Chi glass and the Chi Chi cozy, everything that I got. Invis.tv slash Mr. G. Invis.tv slash Mr. GG for all the barware. Thank you. Pour me a shot of Bailey's. I think this is going to overflow. I don't know if that's the point. I think it's the point, actually. Fun fact I don't think I've ever actually taken an Irish car bomb. So, here's a first time for everything. Lad Caddy says, you would then drop that shot glass into the glass and drink it as fast as you can. Big fan. Hey, thanks Lad Caddy. Let's hope this isn't horrible. <laughs> Although I think it is. Something tells me, cause I don't really care for Bailey's, right? It's fine, it can go into concoctions and be okay. I don't like proper 12 and I don't like Guinness. So, two out of the three things suck. I don't know if all of them going together works. But then again, that's what I said about the Jagermeister cold brew. Mm. What the fuck? Hey, happy late St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for the drink suggestion. Bottoms up, it's gonna fucking overflow. Okay, let me drink a little. I forgot I put Irish whiskey in there. Terrible mistake, you fucking idiot. Now actual bottoms up. There we go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I feel like a changed man. Who is that thing Crypto NWO said in his videos with the dark web? He's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be the same after this. I am not the same person anymore. That's how I feel right now. He was unboxing murder weapons. I drank an Irish car bomb. Hey, you know what? If it was actually St. Patrick's Day, I'd feel a little festive right now. I'd have the little hat and shit. You know, someone would pinch me. You're not wearing green. Ah, ooh, Irish car bomb, be fun. We're not doing that right now. I'm giving that a, a three out of 10. Could have been worse. And I think that's something I'm gonna learn on this journey here. Uh, is that it could have been worse. You gotta be thankful for what you get. All right, that was a heavy start. Oh fuck, now I'm worried. <laughs> now I am worried, baby, but let's do it. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh shit, I, I took that one to the head. <laughs> Considering that Irish car bomb just uh, blew up my hopes and dreams of staying sober during this video. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. Just Miss J suggested an AMF. I believe that stands for adios motherfucker. I could be wrong. It could stand for American mortgage family. Who knows? This is just a little hint of all types of liquors across the country into one cute glass. Let's do it. Patented GG glass. But we get ice. Anyway, so how's the editing going, dude? Everything cool? So we're going to start with a half ounce of vodka. Two shots 
of vodka. Oh, that was fucking, that was more. Bad start. <laughs> half ounce of rum. I'm gonna make sure I get a half ounce on this one. There you go. A half ounce of tequila. This is so fucking stupid. I've actually never had one of these either. I've always seen them offered at like random bars I've been to, but I've never been crazy enough to actually order one. Half ounce of gin. Half ounce of blue curacao. Two ounces of sweet and sour mix. Well, little spillage, not too bad. Sprite or 7-Up to top. We're gonna use Sprite, because that's what I have on hand. It's got a beautiful color, we'll say. Hope it's the same for the taste. And we are mixing this up. I believe also a few people suggested suggested the AMF. So shout out to you guys. If my editor's nice, they'll put all of you on screen. If they don't give a fuck, they won't. And I don't blame them. <sighs> Adios, mother effer. Cheers. Hmm. Okay, I get it. I get why you guys order this, you fucking psychos. Hey, you guys are trying to end up on a stretcher when you order this, but got a few things going for it. Number one, looks pretty. Number two, it tastes good. I think the sweet and sour mix is doing a lot of fucking heavy lifting here. That's a good drink though. I don't think I would survive the night if I was drinking that. I think our first drink was still the best tasting. Damn, I might give this like an eight, honestly. This tastes pretty damn good. Sweet and sour mix in the Sprite, helping hide all the bullshit I put in there. That's not too bad, I'll give that an A, baby. We're rolling. Lil Rax said, Buchanan and Red Bull if you wanna be a taquache, huh? Awesome. Something I learned today, Buchanan's, which um, I just pretty much always refer to as Bucanas, I always thought this was tequila. It's fucking not. This shit is the devil in a, in a bottle, I will say that. When this bottle comes around and starts getting passed around, ooh, it is a, it is a problem. It is a fucking problem. I didn't know it was a fucking scotch whiskey. I thought it was always tequila. And this is, it's got the little, it's got the little pour spout. So you go in there and you can just, you can give it a little shake, do what you gotta do. But yeah, I got, I've never mixed it in anything. So, kind of excited to try it. So now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't know if you mean a shot or a drink. I'm gonna assume you made a shot? <laughs> of course there's a fucking TikTok of some guy. Okay, he just mixed it and this guy just slammed the drink, okay. Okay, so now I can't be a bitch, that's what's up. All right, we're making a drink then. How much I'm putting in here? You didn't tell me shit. Yeah, let's go ounce and a half. Let's do that. A little more than ounce and a half. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right, baby, let's do it. We're here for it. Oh, baby. All right, let me get a fucking Red Bull. Red Bull, we shall top it off. Wish there was more Red Bull. My mistake, I'm the one that Shows the ratio. I will not blame you, little racks. Do not worry. But we do it for the people. Give that a good mix. And ladies and gentlemen, Bucanas and Red Bull. Let me run that one back one more time. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Shut up. It isn't until I realized that this was a blended Scotch whiskey that my body started reacting to it as if it is a blended scotch whiskey and not just some random fucking tequila. Cause before, I always used to think, like a dumbass, that's a nasty fucking tequila. <laughs> it's cause it's not that at all. How do I describe the taste to you guys who haven't tried it? It's almost like celery. You chop a little celery up, you mix it with dirt, you light it on fire, it's smoky. Make it fucking smoky. And that's, that's this shit. It's this shit right here. The Red Bull helps obviously cover the taste. I don't like the taste of this, but it's it's not the worst mixed drink I've ever had. I've had way worse in this series, hands down. What did I rate the car bomb? Three? What would I rather have? The car bomb? Well, I'd rather have this. Why am I asking myself that? Damn, I give this like a five. Like a five, like a fiver floating around that area. Thanks, Lil Rax. I'm not gonna take another sip out of that. I need to have a bunch of friends here when I record these videos that are just ready to get drunk and they just drink all the cups that I throw to the side. That way no drink is wasted. MBLB, as a great man once said, no beer left behind. That also counts for cocktails, but NCLC doesn't sound as cool. Ugh. Red Bull fucking sucks. Gamer subs. Code Mr. Gigi, 10% off. Sly Lundra said, let's go! Exclamation point. Two shots of gin, one shot of Midori, half glass of Jose Cuervo classic margarita mix, the premix bottle, topped with a half can of ginger ale and a salted lime. Very green, very delicious, and very last minute. 
Ice is optional, but I usually throw at least one fat cube in there. If you can't find Midori, watermelon flavored vodka is a decent substitute. All right, Sly, let's see what you got. All right, so I am gonna break some of your rules that you already bestowed upon me as soon as I read that shit off. Uh, I'm putting ice in there because nothing's cold that I have over here. I do not have the gin you asked for. I'm going to use Bombay Sapphire. I apologize. Two and a half ounces of gin. There's two ounces. There is a half ounce. That's got a fucking stank. Stanky stank smell to it. Oh, no, don't like that. Speaking of gin though, you guys ever had long drinks? That shit is delicious. Long drink sponsor me. I fucking love your shit. It's like a gin cocktail uh, premix in a can, but fuck is it good. Tag long drink. Tell them I'm willing to take all the paychecks they're willing to offer. 1.25 here for the Midori. Half glass of Jose Cuervo Classic Margarita Mix, the premix bottle. Okay, so I did have a little issue with this. Sly. I hope you did not mean the one that already has tequila in it. I am assuming you didn't because I've already added gin and Midori to this and I don't think tequila would help the cause at all. I'm hoping you just mean just some sweet ass fucking margarita mix. I really hope so. I'm sorry if I misunderstood your comment, even though I am putting ginger ale and a lime on top of this. Fuck, you might have meant, fuck, you might have meant the tequila. It just didn't sound like it. You said margarita mix, the premix bottle. Oh, fuck. See, I took this as a premix bottle because this is, this is a mix bottle, but I think you mean premix as in it already had tequila in it. Fuck! Okay, <laughs> we make adjustments. A half glass. There's not a lot of room in here, Sly. I don't know where the fuck you're getting all this room from. Put in four ounces of the classic margarita mix. Okay, you know what, before we fuck it up, let's pretend you meant this. And let me try it before that, and if not, I'll add tequila myself. Top with a half can of ginger ale and a salted lime. I'll eyeball this bad boy here. A little bit more ginger ale, never hurt anybody. Don't have a salted lime, just gonna pour that bad boy in there. You said this is very green and very delicious. So we are still very much in St. Patrick's Day theme, baby. I think this is gonna be sweet as shit, and I think I will need to add tequila to this. But, cheers, Sly. Yeah, sweet as balls. Let's grab some tequila. I put four ounces of margarita mix. Let's put an ounce of tequila in there. This is the actual cheers. This is the real drink, I'm assuming. Yeah, that has to be the real drink, because that's not gross. All that did was just give it a bit more punch, but it's a punch that is very welcomed because there wasn't any punch in the initial one. Like I could tell there was booze in it, but it's basically just like fucking sweetener. Okay, mm-hmm, okay. See what you're doing here. Yeah, I see what you're stepping in. Ooh, ooh, <sighs> you know, I feel like, I feel like this might knock me on my ass. Okay, well, I mean, it's green, so that's I mean, gotta be like a plus one point on this video in general, right? Leave a like. We have lost a GG coaster. We have more. You can have more too at invis.tv slash Mr. Gigi. I'm gonna give that a six and a half. Thanks, Sly. Yeah, I don't think it can get higher than that. It doesn't have the best flavor, but it's not gross. But, uh, whoo. <laughs> Your boy is gonna see some stars in a little bit. Uh, shout out Resident Evil. You know what I should do in these videos is give you guys like a little drunk scale, let you know where I'm at in the video. Uh, if I had to go one to 10 right now, <sighs> say I'm at like a four and a half, maybe five worst case scenario. And I know I enunciated that <laughs> in like the worst way possible. But yeah, four and a half, five is probably where I'd sit myself right now, which is pretty high for making like five drinks. We move on. This suggestion comes to us from Oh My Michelle. It's called Blank on the Grass per her. I think that's, uh, is that sex on the grass? Or am I thinking of sex on the beach? Maybe fuck on the grass? Maybe something worse? Who knows? One ounce of vodka, peach schnapps, Midori. Half ounce of Southern Comfort and blue Curacao. Fill rest with orange juice and a short glass with ice. Short glass. I can do that. We're gonna do one ounce of peach schnapps. Pop that shit in there. One ounce of vodka, which I don't have much left. One ounce of Midori. And we got a half ounce of blue Curacao. 
and a half ounce of Southern Comfort. Here's what I found. Shut the fuck up, Siri. What'd you find? Fill the rest with orange juice in a small glass. And there we go. Blank on the grass. Once again, a green color. We're staying in theme for the thing that already passed a long time ago. Cheers, Michelle. Whew. Whew. Something is ruining my day in that drink and I don't know what the hell it is. It's interesting, I will say that. The orange juice is a nice switch up. Something fucking stinks in there though. I mean, there is a bunch of fucking liquor in there, so. Could be many a culprits. I would give that, what did I just rate the last thing? What was the last thing? The last thing was the thing Sly made, right? Which was just a bunch of, no, wait, that was not correct. I, I feel like I'm way past it actually. Oh fuck, it's happening. <laughs> it is, it is happening boys. Time? Anybody? Uh, Logan Paul, KSI, bring me some Prime. Appreciate it, thank you. Okay, not knowing what the hell the other ratings were, I'd probably give that like a six and a half. It's not bad, I would drink it, you know, if that's what was fucking available. Maybe I just don't like the orange juice, honestly. Maybe the orange juice is expired. Or maybe I just don't like orange juice in my drinks. I think that might be the likely culprit. Tequila Sunrise, I believe, has orange juice in their shit. Not really a fan, so kind of makes sense that I do not, that I'm not crazy about that drink. But there you go, ruled fairly. Mari Linda suggested, this one doesn't have a name, but it's two shots of Hennessy, half shot of lime, top off with ginger beer and a splash of grenadine. I've had Hennessy once in my life. I have heard the dangers of it, the uh, pitfalls of it, if you will, but I figured, one in Rome. This is the very first time I have a bottle of Hennessy even in my home. Let's do it, dude. Oh, shit. Two shots of Hennessy. We've already done the weird ass math on that. That is one ounce of Hennessy, two ounces of Hennessy, half ounce of Hennessy. We're gonna count that as two shots, each being 1.25 ounces, baby. Little bit of Hennessy in my life. A little bit of half shot of lime. Half shot of lime? <laughs> Okay, gotcha. You look like a caveman who just discovered lime. Fuck off. There's still some juice in that, so we're not gonna fucking toss that just yet. Speaking of getting tossed. Hey, welcome. I'm Mr. Gigi. <laughs> oh. Top off with ginger beer. It's been topped off. Pause. Splash your grenadine. Meow. Sure, that's a splash. Also, I should probably put that lime juice in that I was talking about. Let's try it. I wish you guys had cool names for all these. Editor, make up a cool name for this drink. Put it on screen, put it right here. Big fucking bold letters, bigger bold letters. Just cover up the whole fucking screen, make it look like shit. Put in a vine boom. Thanks. It's called art, and a lot of people don't appreciate it. Mari Linda, your suggestion has been taken into account. It's got a really pretty color, I will say that. It's almost like a peach color, cheers. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. That is a tasty burger. Hmm. Okay, I get it. It's basically a mule, right? Just like a Hennessy mule with the splash of grenadine being really the only difference. So I'm actually, I shouldn't be surprised that I like this. Yeah, damn. I haven't watched all the other videos recently. I watched the most recent one uh, where I was really fucked up and I regretted being that intoxicated in that one. I just ended up like repeating myself a lot in that episode and like that, that got annoying to me. So I'm sure it got annoying to you. I don't want to do that again. I might have to give that like an eight. Then give this, give this an eight. That's just a good drink. Just a Hennessy Mule. I'm cool with that. That's delicious. We've maybe had the best string of drinks in this episode. Dare I say, let's keep moving. If, if I can keep moving, that is. I, I, bought, I bought a lot more ingredients, so I better stay up for the majority of that, bro. It's uh, be a little sad. A drunk scale check-in? Now's probably a good time. At a six, no doubt, at a six. I am still functional. I can still speak to a camera. Hello, how are you? My name is Mr. Gigi. I hope you went to invis.tv slash Mr. Gigi to check out some of the new barware and clothes that I release on there. That'd be really nice of you. If you can't, that's totally fine too. Hope you just enjoy watching the video. Other than that though. <laughs>
Our next drink comes from Gian Ramsey. She said, two part Guinness extra stout. I think I just have regular ass Guinness, so we'll take that out. One part tequila, half part lime juice, half part lemon juice, half part agave nectar, lime slices. That's just mush mouth, that's not drunk. Lime slices for garnish. So let's follow these directions and see if it is delicious. Bang. Add lime juice, lemon juice, and agave nectar. Stir until agave nectar is dissolved and add crushed ice and tequila to the shaker shake. Let me make sure I remember how to use this shit. Yep, looks like how I use it. <laughs> so from what I understand from that, I just kind of make up my own fucking measurements as long as they are all correct ratio. Oh yeah. Half ounce lime juice, half ounce lemon juice. We're gonna put in a half ounce of... Get your dumb ass on. <laughs> That's what happens when you rush things. That was delicious, by the way. So we got a saying in Spanish, el huevón trabaja doble, which means basically the lazy sack of shit works twice as hard. And man, does that ring true every single time I try and uh, take the shortcut to something. Half ounce of agave nectar. Stir until agave nectar is dissolved. Will do. Then add crushed ice and tequila to the shaker. Appreciate you telling me exactly how to do this. Otherwise, I would have Fuck this up horrendously. One ounce of tequila. Pop that in there. Yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful. And we shake. Do this. Make sure you got the thing. And you pray you don't spill this all over your carpet, please. Always remember to smile. The John Taffer way. You do the thing. They make it look way cooler in the show. They just kind of like smack it and it goes away. It's not working so much. It's not working so much on this one. Okay, trying to find that air pocket. Get the fuck out. Make me look bad. <clears throat> yeah, no, just uh, yeah, just ending my shift, dude. What's up with you? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. This is not gonna end well. Okay, all right. Add Guinness and stir gently to combine before straining into a chilled glass. I don't have the strainer. Fuck. Does it fit here? Not really. Oh, it fits that way. Maybe that's what it means. Two ounces of Guinness and stir gently before straining into a chilled glass. It's not chilled. Sorry. We will now strain it into the glass. Garnish with a lime if you want. This isn't really a garnishy lime. I'm just gonna do this. That's my garnish. This also didn't have a name, Gian, but let's see if it tastes delicious. The Guinness tequila, lime juice, lemon juice, agave, other stuff. Combination, cheers. Ooh, this tastes like an Arizona, like an Arizona drink, a little bit. It tastes like iced tea, really sweet iced tea. I feel like I could have gotten away with maybe more Guinness in this, but as is with the measurements that I've conjured up, it's pretty good. Yeah, it honestly just tastes like a fucking Arizona iced tea. It's pretty damn good. But on top of that, I think a, kind of a fun thing is you taste everything in it. Nothing is really overpowering the whole thing. I'm sure the agave nectar is making this taste not terrible, but I can taste the tequila. I can taste the Guinness, and I can obviously taste the lime and lemon juice, bud. Hmm, that's... Ladies and gentlemen, I think this might be the first drink that I finish. Cheers. There you go, Gian Ramsey. I'm gonna give that, give that an eight and a half. I enjoyed that one, that one was good. I would like you guys to keep in mind my bias here of uh, <laughs> the more intoxicated I get, the higher my scores will probably be. Let's keep moving on before I inevitably crash and burn. Get this Guinness out of my face. You disgust me. Death by Espresso said, Water that has been sitting overnight. Make sure to plan this one in advance for you. Six out of 10. Oh my God, dude. This is gonna fucking murder me. No shot. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much of these I can drink. 
I have the ingredients for a lot of these, but holy smokes. So a lot of people are suggesting the black Superman. It would be racist if I didn't drink it. Imagine only supporting Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy before him who nobody knows. It's basically the adios motherfucker with Shamborn. This thing, which I bought, which I still don't really know what it is. Black raspberry liqueur. Should I try it? For the culture, absolutely. Here we go. This might be my last glass. <laughs> no, it's not. Because mama didn't raise up big. This is from X9 Yoshida, who I think added a, added a little extra alcohol to everything. It's fine, maybe I can find a weaker drink uh, here, but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my nice little beer mug here, just because it's branded. Fuck all the other blank glasses. Let's put some ice in here. Got some ice in the GG branded glass. Two ounces of gin. That was easy. Remember that marketing scheme? That was easy. Bet you don't even remember the company that used to say that. That's how much that marketing sucked ass. Cause you remember the commercial, you don't remember who did it. It was Staples, dumbass. I think it was Staples at least. That's my best guess. Maybe all of you remember that too. Half ounce of rum. Goslings. La da da, da da da. La da da, da 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 da. Half ounce of vodka. We are nearing the end of vodka. Oh man, Shrek is such a good movie, am I right? Oh, I accidentally went to the top of the page. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't have to scroll that far to get to Yoshida's comment. Oh man, how many drinks am I gonna miss out on in this video? Sorry guys, I'm just one man. Half ounce of triple sec. I don't think I've used triple sec this entire video. Don't mind if I do these. Yep, that was a fucking like an ounce <laughs> that I threw in there. My measurements are only getting stronger. Half ounce of blue curacao. Half ounce of chambord, which by the way, never heard of this fucking thing in my life, but a lot of people had it in their concoctions. Looks fancy as shit. Product de France. Oh, it says produit. Is that how you say product in, in French? Produit. Please let me know how to pronounce that correctly so I can become cultured, I'd really appreciate it. <sighs> I love this bottle, by the way. It looks fucking great. Half ounce of this. There we go. Ooh, that's got a smell to it. Two ounces of sweet and sour mix. La da da, la da da. That's an ounce, another ounce. One splash of lemon lime soda. Blah, 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 blah. That's a splash. I believe it also says lemon wedge to garnish. Ugh. We don't garnish, we just fucking pour it in there and throw it in. Now we mix. Garnish my ass. You can also put a maraschino cherry to garnish. That will do nothing to the flavor. It just looks cute. Eat my butt. All right, it is time for me to come face to face <laughs> with Black Superman himself. Woo, baby! X9 Yoshida. Cheers. And the others who also suggested Black Superman. Once again, if my editor is courteous enough, he may find all of you. Uh, if he doesn't have the time, I fully understand. Cheers. <sighs> to support the culture, I'm gonna rate that a 10 out of 10. Black Superman for life, baby. White Superman's overrated, you heard it here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my bodily functions are shutting down. The screen, it's, 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 everything's going black. Like my vision, not the drink. That has nothing to do with that. Yeah, no, that's a blackout waiting to happen. <laughs> oh man, this and the fucking audio son of the fucking. We've gotten some of the best drinks we've had on this series. But we've also gotten some of the biggest fuck yous in this series as well. And this is right in line with that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit! Because I'll be honest with you, I prefer the AMF. We'll give that a, a five and a half. That is my rating for the black Superman. Hey, but hey, if I had the white Superman, it would have been a three. So, fuck him, right? <laughs> oh man, that one's just a motherfucker. I think it's a motherfucker because in the AMF, I think I had a half ounce of everything, as opposed to two ounces of gin in this one. I think that's what pushes me over the edge on this, cause whew, whoo, yeah. 
The gin has to push this one over for sure. It has like four times every other fucking liquor in there. That one's a motherfucker. Thank you, Yoshida. We will see how many more we can drink. Donkey. Drunk scale? I'm at a 6.25. I want to give a quick shout out to Kills Creative Space. They suggested green tea shots, which yes, are delicious. I'm not going to make one right now, but yes, they are delicious. I do agree. Another shout out to Madcatter underscore X. They said, y'all are fucking wild. I love it. I don't. <laughs> I usually ask Twitter and Twitter usually doesn't give me just the strongest shit they can think of. They kind of balance it a little bit. There's usually some bad drinks in there, which I'm not too sure what I prefer at this point, but we're here for it. Oh, by the way, some of you have put really detailed uh, ingredients in here. You're like, yeah, put some egg whites. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. Imagine this guy who is currently in this mindset being like, yeah, let me go grab my egg whites. Stop it. Hello, it's Next Day Gigi here telling you that the rest of the video is going to sound like this. The reason for that is that well something had to go wrong yeah one of the one of the mics died so okay the rest of the video is not picked up however here i am to save the day and just kind of click around the video and assume what i was doing so here pretty sure i was doing a uh, pink starburst shot that was Suggested by Jelly Biscuits 42. It's a half ounce of vanilla vodka, half ounce of watermelon pucker, splash of sour, shake and pour. Trust me, I'm a bartender. I think he's fucking lying. Um, there's a part where I'm showing a shot glass because I think I broke one when I dropped it on the pong table on the side there. And then, then I start hitting my shot glass against the coaster very violently to prove that it's great A shit in biz.tv slash Mr. Gigi. Anyways, the pink Starburst shot is delicious. Who would have thought? Wow, that's like an eight and a half. Wow, I just saved myself 150 bucks. It's really good and delicious. Thank you for the suggestion. I still don't think you're a bartender, but I'll take your word for it. Thank you. The next one is by the the TJ Hill. He said, yo, Gigi, you gotta go with a dark and stormy. Great balance of tart, boozy, and sweet, drink perfect to have in hand while grilling during a cookout. Ingredients, three ounces of ginger beer, half ounce of fresh lime juice, two ounces of dark rum, such as Gosling's, which I had. Lime wedges for serving, enjoy my guy. Well. My guy, I made it, and it was also fucking delicious. He said it was perfect for just being out there during a cookout. Hey, and I think I pretend to play bags at one point during this. It's somewhere in there, but, uh... Oh, I also spilled this drink. I guess I... <laughs> okay, my dumbass almost spills it, stares at it intensely, and then just just finishes the job. So, really, really proud of what we what we did here. But yeah, this was also delicious. I'm rating it uh, also eight and a half. Super fucking good. Yummy, yummy in my tummy the next drink was by mob beam katana they said three shots of disarono mixed with a corona tastes like a dr pepper these are dangerously good now i thought that was a lot of disarono they have in there but hey i listened to i listened to the recipe so when i tried it i thought ewey that's really sweet and gross don't like that at all in fact i don't taste the corona I think my ratio was just off because I wasn't able to pour the whole Corona in there. I think maybe if it had more Corona, I'd, I'd try to salvage it here. But I mean, it's just still, it's crashing and burning. And this being one of the last drinks, I mean, we are just not doing this. You know, this is not, this is not going, going well over here. So we, we yeah, we get this shit out of my sight. Disgusting. One out of 10, you suck. I'm just kidding. But the final drink that I decided to go with was called a Hammered Hulk. Suggested by Angie's Couch. That's two to three tablespoons of lemon and lime to taste. Two ounces of club soda, one ounce of coconut rum, quarter ounce of blue curacao, ounce of vodka, half ounce of Midori, and two ounces of Sprite. I had all that stuff, so I went over with the Schweppes, with the Schweppes club soda, tossing that in. It was a good time. I don't think I spill anything else except for just some casual spills, you know, that's just the sacrifices of war. And I mixed that one up, and it was the last drink, so there was a lot on the line, and I tasted it, and you know what? It was absolutely delicious as well, Angie's Couch. You are not a fraud. You are not fraudulent. You are not a terrible person. I respect you. I respect this drink. In fact, I took it down off camera. These were all great drink suggestions. I believe at the end, this is me actually giving a very heartfelt speech talking about how I love you guys and you guys are the best. And I'm very blessed to be in this position and wouldn't be without you guys. So I just wanted to tell you that you're very much appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, cheers. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out. Pa. Yeah, but that's all gone to time. So you'll never hear that. Uh, but, but, but just just uh, just trust me. Okay.
uh, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Uh, Invis.tv slash Mr. Gigi for the barware if you'd like it. If not, it's totally cool. Uh, bah. Oh, <laughs>